Are the Anker Soundcore Space NC the best active noise cancelling headphones under $100? Let's find out right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, my name is Tony and this is Talk and Tech. As I said in the opening of this video, we are going to be covering the Anker Soundcore Space NC active noise cancelling Bluetooth headphones. Man, that is a lot to say. Anyway, I've had a few days of seat time with these headphones, so I'm ready to give you my opinion on them. To start, let's take a look at the case here. As you can see, this is a pretty standard case. It's really similar if you've watched my Tautronics review to the BH040, BH046 headphones. And honestly, I'm just not a huge fan of these kind of cases. This is pretty big in size, especially compared to my Bose uh, QC25 or QC35 case. This is, this is pretty bulky. Now, I think it is a little bit smaller than the BH040, BH046, and I'll show you why when we crack it open and just kind of how everything fits in here. So we'll go ahead and open this up here and take a look at what's inside of the case. So the first thing that I want to point out to you is just the intense smell that these have. Now, I don't know what chemical these were treated with, but honestly, they smell so strong to the point of basically giving me a headache. No, not basically giving me a headache, it actually gives me a headache. I haven't had this experience with other headphones before. Maybe you guys have had the same thing, but you know, I know that there's a certain smell with a lot of these things because of the plastics and you know, just the kind of materials that they use, but I've never smelled anything quite like this. And it, it actually was kind of a problem when I was wearing them today at work. And I, I don't really know how I feel about it. Maybe it's gonna go away, but it's one of those things where I had to zip the case up and put it away from me because I could just smell it. And the headphones are basically no exception to that because the pads smell exactly like the case. So I'm not really sure if it's the case that smells itself or if it's actually the headphones. All right, so as we open this up, you can see the headphones here and how they are kind of nicely wrapped up here. This is really similar to how Bose does their headphones. Um, it, it, it makes it a little bit more compact. This does have a nice little uh, pack in here so that the headphones sit in here perfectly. And I, presumably it probably doesn't indent the pads here. So I, I think that's a, a positive design. Man, that smell is really hitting me right now. Um, <laughs> I apologize, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty pungent. Anyway, so we'll go through here. So obviously here are the headphones. Um, we'll go into these a little bit more in detail in a second. Just wanna show you what else it comes with. All right, so it does come with a three and a half millimeter jack. And the really nice thing with this is it does have volume control on it. Now, I don't know what, what phone this or you know what um, system this will control. So it's not something that I used, but uh, yeah, it is there if you need it. And it does look like this gives it 50 hours of noise canceling if you're not using the Bluetooth and you're hardwired. So that's kind of nice. If you're on an airplane, you get quite a bit more, uh, more use out of it. And then it does come with the USB cable. And if you've watched some of my previous videos, you know I'm annoyed that a lot of these don't go to the USB-C. I know this is a little bit older model. I think the Life 2 is the newest model, but uh, some of you had requested that I actually review these ones, so I really wanted to give these a try. But yeah, it is just the, uh, the regular micro USB, which is a, a little bit annoying, but again, these are an older model, so I'll make do, and I guess the rest of my headphones are still like that, so it is what it is, and that is life. All right, let's go ahead and get this case out of the way so I can breathe again. All right, so as we jump into the headphones, so these pads, I would consider these probably memory foam. They are pretty nice, and honestly, I don't, these feel okay, but it almost feels cheaper than, say, like a Tautronics. A Tautronics, they felt a little bit, the fabric felt a little bit nicer. This, this feels fake. And I know the Tautronics is also fake, but this, feels like it's supposed to be leather, but it's not. And it just, if, you, if you've if ever felt fake leather, you know what I mean? It just, for some reason, it it, it just doesn't feel as nice, maybe. It, it's it's really smooth, but it's not soft, I guess, if, if that makes sense. Um, the headband, the headband feels pretty standard. Um, as far as the design goes on these, it is uh, very similar to most, most other, excuse me, most other 
uh, noise canceling headphones in this price range. The design is really similar. This is kind of really reminds me of the BH046s, except for this has the two, the two bar here. And then this does have the touch control, which we'll cover in a minute. But uh, yeah, it does have the touch control. As you can see, I still have the sticker on it uh, as a uh, demonstration and because I wanted to you know, make sure I knew how to use them. Um, and then it does, so then we go down to the bottom here. It has the power button, the uh, call button, and then your charging port, as well as your three and a half millimeter jack. On the other side here, it does have the switch for the active noise canceling, and I guess I left mine on. So that is super cool, but I, I believe it only turns on if you have the actual headphones on, so that is kind of nice. Some of my other ones, I know my Bose, for example, if I leave those on and put them away, I'm gonna come back and they're gonna be dead, which I guess is fine, but uh, that is a pain in the butt. And I actually left this on for a couple of days without using them, and it worked today at work, and I think it still had 60% battery. So I, I feel like the battery life works good, and you don't really have to worry about forgetting to turn this on and off, which is a really nice feature, because again, like I said, my Bose don't shut off automatically that I know of. So it, uh, it, it does save you in that, in that respect if you forget to turn it off. All right, so let's dive into how these are actually to wear. Now, I heard some preliminary comments from other people before I reviewed these, but I tried to let those not bias me. So we'll go ahead and throw these on here and just kind of show you how I, how I think of these. So the first thing I'll say is it fits nice and snug. Um, it, and it covers all the way to the bottom of my ear here. Now, one of the complaints that I had about the BH060s, uh, I think that's what they're called, I'm drawing a blank right now, I apologize, was that it doesn't, it doesn't clamp all the way at the bottom of the ear, and these definitely clamp at the bottom of the ear. Now, it is a little bit tight, and it kind of puts a lot of pressure on the back of my head, and it, it, it's really weird. I don't really know how to explain it, and somebody else pointed this out in the comments of one of my other videos, that it caused them to have neck pain, and I actually agree. Now, I don't know if it was because of what I was doing at work, but I had some neck pain today when I wore these for three or four hours, and I actually got used to them, but then my neck started to hurt, so I don't know if it's like, it causes my head to be tilted weird, or what the situation is. So if you've tried these, and you've had a similar experience, or you haven't had a similar experience, leave it down in the comments below, because I, I'm interested to find out if it's, uh, you know, just a, a, a limited, you know, experience, or if it's something that the rest of you have also experienced. Now, one other thing I will point out too about the fitment is I have pretty big ears and this seals really well. And one of the benefits to that, I'll take this off so I can actually hear myself talk, which is what I'm gonna cover next. One of the benefits to how well this seals on my ears, these provide a, a solid level of passive noise canceling. Now, one of the next things that's really good about these, and one of my complaints about my Tautronics, there's a lot of sound leak in those. These did not have that issue. So the other day, for example, I have BH22s at my office, and that's kind of my daily driver headphone there. And my coworkers can hear my music from you know a couple, a couple desks away when they're on my head, not to mention when I take them off for a second to talk, but when they're on my head, they can hear them. So there's quite a bit of sound leak, and these, really don't have sound leak. If I take them off my head and hold them together like so, it, it it doesn't make really any noise. If I pop them open, yeah, obviously it sounds a little bit, but it's it's really not that bad. And one of the things might be because of that is the volume isn't super loud on these. I was a little bit disappointed in some of the volume on these, but um, it did turn up independently of my computer, so that made a bigger difference. But on my phone, it was, they were okay. Anyway, yeah, so the sound leak was good um, and the fitment was okay. It was just really tight. Now, it did help to loosen the band a little bit here, but then it, it, then it felt like the headphones wanted to drift on my head. And so that was a little bit uncomfortable. So I really couldn't find a super comfortable spot for it. I did get used to them a little bit and I didn't really have a lot of issue. Now, when I say talk about the ceiling of the ears, it kind of created an uncomfortable pressure in my ears. And with that, let's transition into like what the sound was. So with the sound of these, I thought the, the highs and the mids were really clear. 
I did think the bass was a little bit punchy for me. I, I don't know, and maybe, maybe I'm just being picky and I don't really know what I'm looking for. So generally what I like to do is, I like to have a good clean lower end and then be able to turn up so that the highs and mids can match the bass. And I just felt like the bass got a little bit out of control at the top end where it was just a little bit punchy. And as, as you've seen in other videos, I listen to electronic music mostly. So that is that can tend to be a little bit, I, I don't know, sterile because it's so, it, it's so mechanical and it was really punchy and I, it was okay. I, I enjoyed it. It, it, it locked me out of what I was, what I was focusing on or locked me into what I was focusing on. So they were okay in that, in that regard, but you know, turning on the active noise canceling, I didn't really hear anything. I could obviously hear a little bit of the white noise when there's no music playing, but I could hear my coworker walking next to me. So it wasn't, it wasn't really anything. Now, when I have the music on and the active noise canceling on, they're pretty solid. I wasn't a huge fan of the noise canceling. I think it's, I think it's middle of the road, but yeah, I mean, it, it worked okay. Um, now, as far as connecting these to devices, now one of my favorite features of the BH22s and some of the other Tautronics that I have, you can connect them to multiple devices or two devices at the same time. So I can have my phone hooked up as well as my computer at my desk. So I can walk away from my desk with my headphones and play on my computer, or I mean, excuse me, play on my phone, or I can be sitting at my desk and play off my computer and save my phone battery. That does not possible with these. So these, these I was only able to get these connect with one device at a time. Now, if you were able to do it to two, let me know in the comments down below because maybe I did something wrong, but every time I would try to do it, I would disconnect from one, reconnect, and it would say, can't connect to this device, make sure it's still in pairing mode. So maybe there's something I'm doing wrong, but I, I was never able to get these to pair to two devices, which is, which is unfortunate and not something I ever thought that I would use very often, but something that I use basically every day now. So that is a big concern to me. And I know some of you have asked in the comments but before, so that is something to keep in mind. Now, the next thing I wanna cover with the connection is the, the distance. Now, with my BH22s, which is even, I think it's a 2017 model, I can walk around most of the main floor of my building. Today, I walked around with these and I barely made it out of my little area and they were already cutting out. Now, when I walked back into the area, it instantly, it instantly caught up and really didn't have any issue um, resyncing back up and, and just working there. However, I, like I said, I was a little bit disappointed with the distance. So I don't know if you guys have had a similar experience or not. The next thing is, is as nice as these touch controls are supposed to be, honestly, I'm not a fan of these. I, I probably did it no less than five times that I skipped the, the mix that I was listening to. And when I skip a mix, you know, if I'm in the middle of something an hour into a five hour mix, if I skip the mix, it's, you know, it kind of breaks my concentration. I got to go back in, start it from there. It takes a while to kind of build back up into it. So I was a little annoyed by that. And I don't know if you have, you know, a similar experience. And that was even with the sticker on here, which I think desensitizes a little bit. And maybe it's something I would get used to. Maybe I'm just so used to grabbing it like this. And instead I would grab it like this. So I, I don't know, it probably could be something I get used to, but after a few days of using them, I'm still not used to it. But uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of the biggest quirk for me was the touchpad. Um, I didn't really have any other issues with it. I did do a call with them the other day and I was able to hear the user on the other end and they were able to hear me as far as I know, they responded to my questions and didn't say anything about the quality. So I, I, I have to assume that it's a pretty decent now again, I didn't run the battery out on these, so I'm not exactly sure on the battery life, but um, I left the noise canceling on, it was still at 60%, and I haven't charged these actually since I got these. So, I, you know, I think, I think they last pretty good. It says 20 hours on Bluetooth, 50 hours hardwired. But uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like it's pretty standard as far as battery life goes. All right guys, so in conclusion, I think these are a good set of headphones. I think the audio quality is what really shines through with these, but I'm not a huge fan of the noise canceling. I personally think the Tautronics BH046 is a better quality overall headphone than these. Now I know that that's a newer model than these, so that maybe is not fair. However, you know, maybe the Life 2 is a better model. Leave it down in the comments down below if you'd like to see me review those as well because I, you know, this is my first foray into Anchor and I think it's a quality product. However, I think for the price, I think you can do better. 
And I, I think quite frankly, you should do better, especially now. And I think like, like I said, I think this is a 2018 model. So it is a little bit outdated. So I do apologize for that. And I do have to take that into consideration when reviewing them. All right, guys, that's really all I have on the video. If you have any questions or comments or anything, make sure you leave them down below and I will leave a link to this in the description to Amazon where I, where I bought these from and you can check them out. You can compare some other ones. Maybe you like a different pair, but anyway, I'll leave those down there so you can check them out. All right, guys, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and found it informative, definitely hit that like button. If you love this video or you want to see more on some new upcoming headphones that I have coming up or you're interested in my OnePlus Pro or OnePlus 7 Pro review that will be coming out next week as well as a flurry of videos on that, definitely hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell right next to it so you know when I post my videos. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day.